In this video, I want to quickly just talk about the greatest common factor of terms, or the GCF of the terms. What you want to do here is you'll have two terms, 18x cubed, 16x squared. And the greatest common factor means what factors or numbers that multiply up to 18x cubed are in common with the numbers that multiply to 16x squared. So the factors of each of those. Factors are numbers that multiply together to make what you see there. So basically we need to see what 18 consists of all the way down to its primes. So I use a factor tree and I factor it down to its primes. I see that 18 is 2 times 3 times 3 and then the x cubed the x cubed is x times x times x. I'm just factoring it down to what it, it, what it is based on x cubed. We do the same with the 16. 8 times 2, 4 times 2, and 2 times 2. So 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Remember you're taking the ends of the branches only. Times x times x. Now the greatest common factor in the terms are what values are in common. So I just I can easily look to see that the numbers that are in common is just a 2 and then how many x's are in common. There are two x's in common. So the GCF for this would be a 2 x times x or 2 x squared. That is the GCF. Now how can you get that just by looking at it? Well, you have to know the factors offhand of what go into 18 and 16. I would end up just doing this out like this. But the variables are pretty easy. x squared means there are x times x. And x cubed means there are x times x times x. So there are two x's. It's always the smaller amount that is in common. What gets confusing is it's greatest common factor. Greatest just means the most. So think of that. Not in not in the largest number, but the most that are in common. There are two x's in common. So normally I just look at the variables and pick them out. I don't actually write this all out like this each time. I do for the numbers to find the greatest common factor, but for the variables I just look at those values there and say, oh, there's two in common. Let's try another one. There's three of them here, and I can do the numbers first and then the variables, or we can do the variables first. They're the easy ones, actually. That's what's funny about this. Let's look at the x's. How many x's are in common? Well, that's x times x. That's 1x. That's x times x times x. So how many x's are in common? The greatest common factor is 1x. There's only 1x in common. The y's, there's 4y's, there's 3y's, and there are 2y's. How many are in common? There are two, two, and two. So there are two y's in common, so y times y is y squared. All right, that's it. Those are all the variables. Now I move on to the numbers. And you can just look at them if you want to find the greatest common factor of 20, 14, and 30. I know it multiplies to 20, I know it multiplies to 14 and 30, and I can tell that it's going to be a 2 because, let's look, 20 is just 4 times 5, or 2 times 2 times 5, 14 is just 2 times 7, right? That's it. And 30, well that's just 3 times 10, that's 2, 5, so it would be 2 times 3 times 5. Well, as I look at them again, I, I knew there was a 2 in the 20, I knew there was a 2 in the 14, I knew there was a 2 in the 30, but there aren't any 3's in 14 or 20, and there aren't any 5's in 14. So the greatest common factor there of the number is just a 2. So that would be the GCF. The number usually is the hardest thing to find. The variables are the easier thing. It's always the lowest amount that they have in common. So when I look at the x, there's 1x, 2x's, 3x's, 1x in common. 4y's, 3y's, 2y's, 2y's in common, GCF. All right, one more, you try it, pause the video, see if you can find the GCF of these two terms, and then I'll do it. Okay, I'm back here. Let's take the number, I have 40, I'm gonna factor it out to four and 10, two and two, two and five, so that's 40. 
and then the 25 is just 5 times 5, right? All right, then I can pick the what's in common. Only one 5 is in common. So when I'm writing the GCF, the 5 is the in common factor of the numbers. Now let's just look. Is there an X in common? Yes, one X is in common. Two Y's here, three Y's here. How many are in common? Two Y's, Y times Y. There's a Z here. Is there a Z here? No. So we're done. They don't have a Z in common. You don't use Z cubed because again, the factor are numbers that multiply together and they have to have them in both terms to be in common. So that would be our GCF. Hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, please post in the comments.